We should outlaw the wave in baseball stadiums. No more of that or you'll be arrested. Coaches in every single sport should have to wear the uniforms of that sport, not just baseball coaches. That's not fair. T-shirt guns should become burrito guns. When playing basketball, if you take three steps before dribbling, that should be a penalty. We should call that traveling. from New Jersey Cup Championship in 16 years. Please welcome Carly Lloyd. that shirt <laughs> probably day five now it's awesome just great yeah. now, now you won two olympic gold medals mm -hmm. and but how does that compare to winning um, the world cup they're special uh don't get me wrong you can't get too greedy with medals but uh a world cup is every soccer player's dream to win yeah. Yeah. and i don't think it's fully sunk in yet it's it's unbelievable it's something i'll cherish forever May I say that you made it look easy is that I know that anything that looks easy takes an enormous amount of work and sacrifice but you really made it look easy I, I mean if someone would have told me I would have scored three goals in a final of a World Cup um, I'm not sure I would believe that but it's amazing what you, what your preparation does your mind um, you know just running a ton training a ton you know you, you work hard and things good things happen I've got to tell you I, I was telling Michael in the audience that I walked uh, from my my apartment to JG Mellon and you had scored three goals and I don't think you realize how close I live to JG Mellon but it was like an inordinate amount of time you were just like it, the score was three to nothing in the blink of an eye it was crazy to have four goals in 16 minutes um, is unbelievable and I think that's how we all felt after the game we had to pinch ourselves because we didn't think it was real I mean to win there were seven goals scored throughout that match wow. so it was crazy and not only that you won the golden ball for the best player so mm -hmm. it was I mean I think you know collectively it's been a fantastic journey with with the team and uh, I'm so proud of everybody on there um, we all have individual goals and mm -hmm. when I got on the national team one of my goals was to become the best player in the world and slowly but surely um, I think that you know I've kind of reached that pinnacle And it's such a big deal, you know, you're such a big deal for them. And I just know just from being in the family that it's so much sacrifice. You miss so many mm -hmm. birthday parties or you're traveling on the weekend. You don't get to hang out with your friends. And it really is a lot, a lot of work. And you give so many young ladies such hope and, 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 and such a wonderful outcome. Like this is why we're, this is why there's so much sacrifice, right? Yes, absolutely. I mean, we sacrifice so much. And my fiance, my friends and family, they all know that, you know, they come second for First is, is soccer. And <laughs> it may sound crazy, but we have a short amount of time to play. I can't play mm -hmm. till I'm 50. You know, yeah. I gotta mm -hmm. just give it all I've got for that short amount of time, and um, it's good. You know, I, I I've been getting lots of messages from from people, and the the best messages that I've been getting are is Hey, my son is watching the TV. Mm -hmm. He sees how hard you work. And he's like, Mom, if I work hard, I can be just like her. Mm. To me, that's, that's priceless, right. and that's what it's all about. And um, you know what else is priceless is that um, tomorrow, you and the rest of the team are going to get a ticker tape parade right here in New York City. <laughs> the Canyon of Heroes. And then I, I, I've had the opportunity to have that, and it's the most amazing thing ever. It is so well deserved. Enjoy it. And, you know, congratulations. So happy for you. Really happy for you. It's well deserved. And if anybody can play it into their 50s, it's you. <laughs> My money's on you. So congratulations to Carly and the rest of the U.S. Women's National Soccer Team. And if you get a chance, go down and, oh. and cheer them on at the Canyon Heroes tomorrow. Uh, they are the first women's team to ever.
ever get their own ticket pay parade here in New York City. So, Carly Lloyd, everybody. Still ahead on live performance by Rachel Platten and Just Kidding Week continues when kids talk of love. Nice try. Thanks again for the jacket. Mike's gonna love it. Wait, wait. Wait, please, wait. Is that me? Did you do this, Kimber? This is about you not going your whole life wondering what would have happened if you didn't take that chance. The biggest record company in the world wants to sign us. You're gonna be famous! <laughs> Which one's the real you? Stories my life. Sing one of your songs. I don't like being on camera. You know what this beach needs? CPR. It's Muscle Beach. Put this against your ear and you can hear a Hemi. Whoa! Get a great deal during the Dodge Summer Clearance event. Get 0% APR for 75 months plus 1500 total bonus cash on Dodge Charger SXT. Did you know that DirecTV has 99% signal reliability? But don't just take my word for it. Take it straight from my horse's mouth. Probably day five now. It's <laughs> awesome. Just great. Yeah. Now, now, you won two Olympic gold medals, mm -hmm. and but how does that compare to winning um, the World Cup? They're special. Uh, don't get me wrong. You can't get too greedy with medals. But uh, a World Cup is every soccer player's dream to win. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think it's fully sunk in yet. It's, it's unbelievable. It's something I'll cherish forever. May I say that you made it look easy? Is that, I know that anything that looks easy takes an enormous amount of work and sacrifice, but you really made it look easy. I, I mean, if someone would have told me I would have scored three goals in a final of a World Cup, um, I'm not sure I would believe that, but it's amazing what you, what your preparation does. Your mind, um, you know, just running a ton, training a ton. You know, you, you work hard and things good things happen. I've got to tell you, I, I was telling Michael in the audience that I walked uh, from my apartment to JG Mellon, and you had scored three goals. <laughs> and I don't think you realize how close I live to. We should outlaw the wave in baseball stadiums. No more of that or you'll be arrested. Coaches in every single sport should have to wear the uniforms of that sport, not just baseball coaches. That's not fair. T-shirt guns should become burrito guns. When playing basketball, if you take three steps before dribbling, that should be a penalty. We should call that traveling. Not only 
is she from New Jersey? Cup championship in 16 years. Please welcome Carly Lloyd. <laughs> JG Mellon, but it was like an inordinate amount of time. You were just like, it, the score was three to nothing in the blink of an eye. It was crazy. To have four goals in 16 minutes um, is unbelievable. And I think that's how we all felt after the game. We had to pinch ourselves because we didn't think it was real. I mean, to win, there were seven goals scored throughout that match. Wow. So it was crazy. And not only that, you won the golden ball for the best player. So. Mm -hmm. It was. I mean, I think. You know, collectively, it's been a fantastic journey with, with the team, and uh, I'm so proud of everybody on there. Um, we all have individual goals, and mm -hmm. when I got on the national team, one of my goals was to become the best player in the world, and slowly but surely, um, I think that, you know, I've kind of reached that pinnacle. You did it. But don't be modest. You did it. No, <laughs> And it's such a big deal, you know, you're such a big deal for them. And I just know just from being in the family that it's so much sacrifice. You miss so many mm -hmm. birthday parties or you're traveling on the weekend. You don't get to hang out with your friends. And it really is a lot, a lot of work. And you give so many young ladies such hope and, 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 and such a wonderful outcome. Like this is why we're, this is why there's so much sacrifice, right? Yes, absolutely. I mean, we sacrifice so much. And my fiance, my friends and family, they all know that, you know, they come second for First is, is soccer. And <laughs> it may sound crazy, but we have a short amount of time to play. I can't play mm -hmm. till I'm 50. You know, yeah. I gotta mm -hmm. just give it all I've got for that short amount of time, and um, it's good. You know, I, I I've been getting lots of messages from from people, and the the best messages that I've been getting are, is hey, my son is watching the TV. Mm -hmm. He sees how hard you work. And he's like, Mom, if I work hard, I can be just like her. Mm. To me, that's, that's priceless, and that's what it's all about. And um, you know what else is priceless is that um, tomorrow, you and the rest of the team are going to get a ticker tape parade right here in New York City. The Canyon of Heroes. And then I, I, I've had the opportunity to have that, and it's the most amazing thing ever. It is so well deserved. Enjoy it. And, you know, congratulations. So happy for you. Really yeah. happy for you. It's well deserved. And if anybody can play in, into their 50s, it's you. <laughs> My money's on you. So congratulations to Carly and the rest of the U.S. Women's National Soccer Team. And if you get a chance, go down and, uh. and cheer them on at the Kenya Heroes tomorrow. Uh, they are the first women team to ever get their own pick and pay parade here in New York City. So Carly Lloyd, everybody. Still ahead on live performance by Rachel Platten and Just Kidding Week continues when kids talk of love. You know you're right, Jen.